helping you through tutorials for work, recreation, and general knowledge. This is Pass It On. Hi, I'm Claudio Napoleone. You know, we all had conversations with people who are remotely located. So, we rely on the internet technology to bring us closer. In this case, we're talking about Skype. If you've ever used Skype with a tutor or a mentor, you know how important it is to keep notes. But if you keep writing them down as you go along, you're not very interactive. Which brings us to our segment this week, Why Not Record It? So to record anything you want to do on Skype, the first thing you need to do is acquire the software. Don't worry about it, it's free. All you need to do is go to your favorite browser, Mozilla, or Google Chrome, or Google. Mine says Google Canada, but don't worry about that right now. Type in MP3 Skype Recorder and hit Find. Once you do that, the first hit you get as of September 11, 2011, is this Skype recorder mp3 button right here click on that what it'll do is bring you directly to the website where you'll be able to download it free it's absolutely free it's called the freeware and all you do is click on the little link on the right hand side here click on that and you'll end up going directly to a um, little box that'll ask you either open it or save it i recommend you save it so that you can use it a little later Besides, it'll show up somewhere else, and I'll show you that in a second. So go ahead, install that. It takes a few seconds. The interface itself looks something like this. It's very important that you keep your eye on the left-hand side right here in this box. Automatically, it ticks these two boxes. You want those two boxes to be ticked off. The reason for that is if they are on, it will automatically start recording every session that your Skype does. So you want to keep that off, because God knows I say a lot of crazy things in one day. Okay? Make sure that's off. The next thing you need to do is know that you can go back to your Start button and start it at any time. So once you've clicked it so it doesn't automatically come on, you have access to this any time. You can record in mono, in stereo, and in joint stereo. I'll tell you a little bit about the joint stereo in a little bit. But right now, it's also important that you know there's different bit rates for recording, and those are extremely valuable for you depending on the quality you want to get. Make sure you store all these Skype conversations in a file. You can name it and tell it where to go. In my case, I'm making sure it's going to go into a different hard drive so it doesn't really depend on my hard drive that's in my computer. I want it completely stored apart. Okay? Good. Now, the joint audio, what that is, is every time you have a mentor on the other line, you want to record going in and coming out. Any conversation, that's what you use. I hope you like this. It's very simple, and, uh, you know, as always, I helped you. Make sure that you pass it on.